Hi guys and welcome back to Sakuna. So today it is rice sorting time. So we're gonna add in Helamut as always. I think we might go all the way this time. I think that's fine. Yeah. Now the mixing. Long <laughs> tedious process but we're just waiting for that amber to start floating. There we go. We can go a little bit more. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that the more you mix, the better the quality too. But then you have to mix like a lot. But I think we're gonna call it a day right about now. I think that's good. This is good enough. Did it sink a little? Yeah, that improved our quality. And less seeds painfully have to plant. So we will do the harvest we will do it thinly because we want better quality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still gotta tell we know. It is the third of winter. However. So for starters, I'm just gonna um pick up the rocks. I think each time there's like 10 rocks, exactly. All right, so I've taken out the rocks, but instead of tilling the ground today, what I want to do is I want to go back to the Bounteous Earth Grotto and try our hand at getting salt again, because we can till tomorrow, that's no problem. Okay. Hopefully we get something today. Come on. No salt. Darn it. I need to look that up. I wonder if I'm just being silly and missing something. Okay, back to the world map. I guess evening is coming. So we will head on home. Don't know if we can still till today. Probably has to wait till tomorrow. We wonder. Now that we unlocked like the Capamura, did anything else? Want me to make us? something? No, that all looks the same. And then let's check over here with Yui, just in case. Should I make something, Goddess? Mm, still this um, the black deer garment. But I don't think we're really using much ma much um magic. I yeah, I think one of our weapons is imbued with magic. Let's see. Uh, yeah, our um, single hand weapon. Mm. And we did get another mask. We got the lucky mask. Maybe. I think we'll wear this one instead. Because we kind of, yeah, we get the gist of the, the treasure one. I think maybe the luck one could be more beneficial to us. Uh, maybe we should leave this, keep the water out before we till. Alrighty. Do we have I anything to, to process? Hmm. Oh yeah, well we got all that, um, all the new rice. So I guess we'll make some stuff. Um, a little bit more murky. And then we'll use the the malt for other things as we need it. Maybe mm, I don't know. We have a little bit of everything, so it's not like we're running particularly low. I feel this one. Be okay, yeah, this one you can change what it's um, pickled with or dried with. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. And what other options do we have up here? Still loads of soup stock. Okay. So then I guess we will move on to the Dindins. Thank you, my gratitude for this meal. Mm, roast venison, shaved ice. Interesting.
I guess once we explore the Kappa place a bit more, we'll finally... What's it called? Kappa's Mirror. Once we explore that a bit more, we should hopefully get some quest stuff moving along. Right, yes, do the telling today. I know, I know. The seed things are ready for planting, so you say. Okay. Um, let us spread the fertilizer. And now... Let's give it a try. Alright guys, I will bring you back when this is done. Alright guys, this looks pretty good, I think. So, let us finish. This is good enough. Let's see, what percentage? This looks good. 99. Yep. Alright. Then, perhaps we should plant these already today. That way it's done. Yeah. This is right. good enough. We had a slightly odd number of amount of seeds. Uh, a little far apart. I wonder if that's because of the odd number at the end. I tried following the grid. Hmm. I don't know. But sure. Okay, before catching these frogs, we should probably get some water in here. I think around 20% should be fine. Is that other one open or closed? It looks open. Yeah. That's not gonna help. Right. How are we doing, water? Getting there. So that's probably good enough. 23. Mm. I'll let all this smudge just we just planted them. I don't wanna risk having too much water in here yeah that's fine all right well okay so we put the fertilizer down that means we need to make more and then we will head off to bed and finally get back to Kappa's mirror and see what's happening over there so gonna be moving on Kernel fertilizer. Put a bunch of amber in here. Trying to maximize the efficiency because we have so few. And then just that everything is strong. I'm gonna add in a little bit of everything else. But kernel is our most important one right now. And additional components. Hmm. Tomorrow I'll check the state and see if there's anything that we need to cure. But I think we can add in a smidge of sedge and maybe a couple demonic pearls to get that aroma boost. And we'll call that that. I think we can check now already. See if there is anything. Yeah, so it already has a disease. Well, we'll mix something to the fertilizer for that tomorrow. Um, let's do a quick loop. Looking for things that we can pick up. Yes, a frog. Very happy with that. This is all good for our crops. They'll eat away at whatever. I think they eat away at insects and weeds and stuff. And possibly bacteria too. I'm not too sure. And then we'll check here for a spider, maybe? Yes, we have a spider too. Oh, I think a spider. Do we have one in this, whoop, in this corner? No. Alright. Dinner in bed. Um, nothing to process, I right? Something? No, nothing new today. No. I give my gratitude for this meal. Um. Quiet dinner again. Okay, rest until morning. Okay. So, first things first this morning, I'm gonna spread this fertilizer. 
And then... Let's see. We'll pop this in here. Yeah, can we check the details of the fertilizer first? I mean, the, of the ground. Okay. Mm-hmm. Alright, I think... Um... Hmm. Do we need a pesticide for that? I mean, again, our most important thing is kernel. Uh, and we'll just put a little bit of... No, yes, 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 kernel is our most important. Put in one of everything. And then a smidge of amber. Yes. And then additional components. Eradicating remedy. That's a pest. Hmm. What is the problem with our rice, though? Maybe I need to figure that out first before adding one of these, because these are kind of valuable. Don't really want to waste them. Um, do we have something natural to use? I don't think we picked up any garlic or anything. Hmm. Could add in some health flakes? I don't think we'll do that this round. But there are certain things that act as like kernel fertilizer. Um, in the additional component stage. But I forget what it is. Well, like rice bran, for example. That's also a kernel fertilizer. Kernel wheat fertilizer. Hmm. Interesting. These aqueous droplets. We throw one in. That's a little bit of everything. I think we'll do that. Hopefully that will help us. Alrighty. So. Yes, we'll go to the world map. And... Well, before we go anywhere, we're going to send Kaimaru out. Please bring us home some goodies. Then, Kappa's mirror defeat the Gorge Master. This is gonna be terrifying. It's quiet. Too quiet. Oh, oh. This must be the lake! What? Something is rising from the lake bed! <laughs> Magic Hop could never. Another foolish looking creature greets us. Keep your guard up. This malevolence. I am certain this demon presides over the entire region. Come for a kappa? Enough with the catfish. No matter. I shall liberate this region just as I did the forest. Ah! Oh, and we missed him. And he hit us. <laughs> yeah! Over here. Oh my goodness, this is going to be an interesting one. Get up girl, you can do it. That even touch him? A little. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, you're actually doing fine, to be honest, I'm too stressed. I mean, Floyd doesn't have the greatest aim, if we're being honest. <laughs> You're so goofy. Oh, no, don't drop icicles on my head. That's rude. Oh my goodness. Chill, bro, chill. Whoa. <laughs> Actually, isn't so bad. Um, 
we get him? Defeat the gold master. This is what gods are meant to do. I swell with pride, my lady. It was certainly no small effort, but I admit it feels rather nice to have been of help. Let us return home and rest up for dinner. They say a hard-earned meal is the most delicious of all. You think so? Mm. Such unabashed gluttony does not befit a god of your station, my lady. Mm -hmm. No, they're all following us. I do not recall inviting you all along. I will not have a parade of slime balls at my hip. <laughs> and they all came with anyway. say they will return the favor, just like they promised. So, that was more than idle posturing. How unexpectedly scrupulous for a bunch of waterlogged urchins. But what could they do for us, I wonder? Now that we've stretched our territory across the surrounding fields, the eastern forest, and the northern valley, we may be able to expand our rice fields with the Kappa's help. Hmm, would it not be reckless to entrust them with the field? Be it from me to refuse their offer. Hereafter, the Kappa's fields will become part of Lady Sakuna's domain, thereby increasing the yield of our rice crop. Ooh. <laughs> I await the coming harvest! Alright, yay! Okay, looking a little dry, guys. Looking a little dry. Let's add in some more. Up to level to 20% again, I think. It's actually the, one of the sunniest springs we've had. Usually it's just always raining. Okay. Hmm. Does it. I wish it would give us something about, like. Hurry and take root! Like if it was dehydrated or not. Hmm. I think that's okay. It's still, it's pretty early in the day. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh wow, a lot of stuff opened. Um, hmm. Interesting, I wonder what awaits us here. Well, nothing else unlocked, so I guess we'll continue. Oh my. They're like, they're yeah, they. Gotcha. Oh, there's no background music? <laughs> Makes it even creepier. They're like skeletal Shigumo. Do you wonder if this is just like, this must be a bug with just loading in or whatever. There's no background music, but it makes it so eerie. Gotcha. And there's no, like, name for them. What are these creatures? They're not demons. Their movements remind me of Ashigumo. They are not but specters now. In all likelihood, they are the reincarnations of Ashigumo's fallen tribesmen. 
This is the first I've seen of such a thing. So how do these specters differ from demons? If demons are spirits that have succumbed to wickedness, specters are the animate embodiment of death who lead the living to doom. They are a threat to be greatly feared. Even demons are not immune to their power. So it would seem. Ashigumo's tribe was slaughtered by demons. Perhaps they are trying to exact revenge. Okay, enough. I don't mean to wake up in a cold sweat tonight thinking about this. Let us return. Oh, wow. Okay. So, no way further to go. So eerie without the music. Alright. Well, I wonder what news is going to await us at home then. Plum. Mm, I wonder if Tama has something to say to us. Ah, so you were in the house. Lady Sakuna, Tama, I have troubling news. What now? We've only just arrived home. There were a number of fish floating in the river that comes from the southern volcano. The water looks and smells of poison. Thankfully, our fields use a different water source, so it does not affect us directly. Still, I have my concern. Poison from the volcano, say? Has sulfur contaminated the water? If it doesn't affect our fields, what does it matter? We cannot very well worry about a volcano going about its usual business. It's horrible! We're in deep this time. Ugh. There's something in the air today? A horde of demons appeared out west, and they're heading toward the volcano. No rest for the wicked, huh? If we do not monitor what is occurring on this island, we may find ourselves at a disadvantage should the situation spiral out of control. True. To the southern volcano, then. Okay. Well, well, that's a turn of events. <gasps> Puppy, we got another doggo. Good grief. I see you have brought another dog. Yes, another shibu. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Hmm, I hesitate to bring in another mouth to feed, but <laughs> so long as it earns its keep. After all, that allows you to go outside, but this is the last one. No, we want more. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, more dogs available to dispatch. All right. Well. Ooh, rock slide paradise. That must be how we make our way up to the volcano. So, seeing as we have more dogs to dispatch, I think we did just upgrade. Yeah, we had just got this location. I think within meter here. I go now. And then Kaimaru over here, I think. Yay! Now we can dis dispatch two people at a time. Okay, so this one... Okay, we can just go to the entrance. Nothing new there. Okay, let's go back up here. Reach the exit, get obsidian. Ooh, if we got obsidian, we'll unlock new weapons, I'm sure. And discover a mining area. Alright. This place must also be a bit of a maze, because it talks about reach the exit. And you know when it has that as an objective, you're... Uh, <gasps> for a good time. <sighs> Great. Oh, yeah, obsidian. Okay, we might want to wait for the next rock and try and time this. Yes. Ooh, tidal wave is a pretty strong skill if you can level it up. Should probably spend more time using it to upgrade the proficiency. Now the mining spot. That was just iron. Whoa. And rocks being hurled. I wonder if there's actually something like throwing the rocks. Whoa. Oh my goodness. 
That's a trick. <laughs> Get out of their way if you can. Huzzah. Do, do, do. Also, for some reason, I feel like our health bar is displaying so much bigger. Like how it does when you're in a, a boss fight. Oh. Yeah, you guys done. Cool. Mining area, please. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, so they, they fall at different velocities. Gotcha. Hmm, maybe we should carry on this way. Oh. Oh. Okay, well, that went alright. Oh, luck powder. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, close. Doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo. Well, so many. This is gonna be a tough one. Nope, it's not gonna work. Mm -mm. Okay. This is gonna. <laughs> I wonder if our health was big because of like a food buff. Because I also feel like our health is not taking much strain at all. Any more rocks? No, I don't like it. <laughs> really hate it if we fell now. Oh, that was so close. Could have so easily been thrown off. Ooh, flames of hatred. Raise the exploration level and reach the peak. Ooh. Probably was... Shouldn't have come here so late in the day. But it's alright. We'll just have to do it some more tomorrow. Huh. Well, there we go. Okay, we actually got to the edge. And we unlocked the next part so we did get a little bit of obsidian and we did get some of the mining areas so i guess there's another mining area in there somewhere hmm all right we'll have to come back there in a few days um to end of the day i'm gonna go to bounty's earth grotto and try get some friggin salt and just to check if we walk that way yeah it's just gonna take us out okay there's not like some secret salt mine in here or something so let's see and no salt hmm i'm trying to question if the trick is to like leave it for an incredibly long time and come back to salt who knows? Okay, home time. Let's see what have we got. Okay, beast tooth for leaves. I think beast tooth is the one that we're lacking, right? Hmm. Well, we can always use more of everything. That's for sure. We'll do a quick check. Our little sprout. What is the water level at? 24. You can live a little bit out, I think. Just to say. Um, oh, well, I, 
Actually, I take that back. Now that it's offshoot season, we're gonna add water up to 30%. Yeah. All right. So. troubles you? Are you searching for something? You seem distressed. <sighs> oh, Sakuna, I lost my tortoiseshell hairpin. Hmm. A tortoiseshell hairpin, you say? You possess some rather fancy things. Yeah, you know to people who become foremost, believer gave to me. Very special. I see. It was a gift, you say? Well, if you have not found it after all this searching, perhaps it would be better to create an entirely new one. I am sure Kinta could handle making a trifle such as a hairpin at his level of skill. So breathe deeply and try to calm yourself. Now, now, it may yet turn up somewhere in the meantime as well. If you never took it out with you while gathering, it must be somewhere within the path. Mm. Yes, you're right. Since this hairpin is so precious to you, I will spare no effort in making your new one better than the one you lost. Oh, right. right, time to pin down some materials. Oh cool, jade and bamboo. Well we have that. So who who do we give it to? Oh to Kinta. Alright, we'll do that. Okay, but time for dinner. I give my gratitude for this meal. Listen here, Tama. Today you will finally tell me the tale of my parents' romance. Things are connected this evening. Things are connected. This evening, I will speak of the battle against Omizuki. Ugh, I could not care less about this. You may skip it and move on to the good part. I want to hear about this. As do I. Me, me. Even Kaimaru. Are all men so fascinated by stories of monsters? Yeah, yeah. First, a brief introduction to Omizuki. He is an evil god who is the source of floods in the Lodi realm. I heard that in order to appease him, the children of men offered him a human sacrifice every year. But one year, the woman appointed to be the sacrifice escaped into the lofty realm. Lady Sukuna's mother, I take it, the great Lady Tohohana. She used the divine raiment I now hold to cross the realms and escaped her fate as a sacrifice, I assume. Isn't it kind of bad to abandon your duty like that? So what you're saying, she should have laid down and died? I ain't got no sympathy for people who choose to sacrifice themselves. Moreover, it is not clear if the practice of sacrificing humans truly had the power to quell floods. However, we at least know that after Lady Tohahana's escape, the flood surged and manifested itself here on Hino, in the form of the evil god Omizuki. Boop. Following his emergence, Omizuki pursued Lady Tohohana, but the disorientating spell cast on the past rendered his search fruitless. And so, in order to ferret her out, he sent his demons to ravage the island. The Ashugumo tribe fought bravely to protect their land, but they were no match for the mighty Omizuki. One by one they were defeated. Unable to stand idly by any longer, Lady Tohahana departed the pass, her divine, her divine raiment in hand. She likely believed that Omizuki's appearance on this island was entirely her fault. It was then that Lord Takaribi sprung into action at last. He could not simply allow the woman he loved to fly into the jaws of death. Thus did Lord Takaribi and Lady Tohohana join the Ashigumo in a great battle against Omizuki. Despite Omizuki's fierce strength, Lord Takaribi attacked him head on. Lady Tohohana parried one attack after another using her divine raiment, and the Ashigumo stood firm against a horde of innumerable demons. Their life or death struggle continued unabated as the battle rolled off for many days and many nights. When all had reached the peak of exhaustion, Lord Takaribi landed a decisive blow against Omizuki. Even Omizuki could not withstand such an attack. He drilled a fathomless hole in the earth and fled towards the ocean. Having lost their commander, the demons scattered to the winds, and at last peace returned to the island. Wow, I had no idea such a crazy battle happened here. Lord Tama, that was a fascinating tale. Ho oh, ho, I am pleased to hear it. Exactly how long did it take for my parents to get together? <laughs> It was good. Oh, <laughs> All right, guys, well, I'm going to end this part off over here. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye, guys.